Hi, everybody. <laughs> it's back. Well, yes. <laughs> This is episode 127 of Curiosity Corner Live. Good afternoon, Alyssa. Hi, Anthony. Um, it's great to see all of you. Great to have you here. We'll give people, as usual, a little bit of extra time to join us. Um, and then we're going to get right into it. I'm really excited. And I have some new technology. I have mouse, wireless mouse that I can use to do all sorts of cool things. Um, and I have two cameras now, very fancy, so I can switch. There's the balance view. And then there's me. <laughs> All right, well, it's 1.31, so I'm going to get started. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Curiosity Corner hey, Live. There. I'm turn on my radio. Um, I'm here at Great Lakes Science Center in our new PPG labs. Um, PPG uh, gave us a grant and helped us rework these demonstration labs. So it's it's a top-notch facility here. Um, this is the first time that we've done a full-fledged Curiosity Corner Live episode in quite a while. Um, Curiosity Corner Live isn't going to be as frequent as it used to be. Once in a while, we'll bring you live science content, um, but not necessarily always at 1.30. Make sure you subscribe and ring that bell so you know when we're going to go live. Um, it'll be once in a while, usually for special things like mole day. Um, we'll see, we'll see. I'm excited though. Um, today is mole day, 10.23, October 23rd, and mole, we're not really referring to the animal, the mole, we're more referring to a concept in chemistry, the mole. So first things first, of course, my name is Andy. I wear bow ties because bow ties are cool. Um, the pony corn, powdered sugar, and candy corn could not join me today, but I do have Poe, the owl. Poe, P-O, stands for plush owl. And he's uh, taking a break from his uh, owl pellet dissections to check out mole day. He's very interested in the concept of a mole day. Um, so the mole, I mentioned that the mole is not an animal. It's actually a number. So it's actually this number right here, 6.022, 14076 times 10 raised to the 23rd power. That last bit there, that little bit, 10 to the 23rd is 10 with 23 zeros, actually no, it's one with 23 zeros after it. So if you wrote this number, that whole, still not, there we go, that whole number, if you wrote that out, it would look like this. 602-214-076-0000-000-000-000-000-000-000-000-000-000-000-000-000-000-000-000-000-000-000-000-000-000-000-000-000-000-000-000-000-000-000-000-000-000-000-000-000-000-000-000-000-000-000-000-000-000-000
how do we know whether some, something is accurate to be a mole or not? It's very hard to count atoms. Um, you can't just individually count all those atoms. And that number is huge. If you had a mole of tennis balls, it would cover the earth several miles thick. So 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd is an insane number. Um, there's about 7 billion people in the world and every person has about 7 trillion cells. Um, so if you counted all the cells of all the people in the entire world, that is still not a mole. That's how big this number is. It's huge. Um, and it's very useful for counting small, tiny things like atoms. So in order to know whether something's a mole or not, we use the periodic table of. So here's, um, and with the periodic element, we can find out certain things. So um, here's manganese, number 25. Um, 25 is how many protons an atom of manganese has. And that number at the bottom, 54.938, that is called the atomic weight of manganese. And atomic weight is grams per mole. So we know that a mole of manganese would weigh 54.938 grams. Um, you can, any, any one of these elements, you can find the molecular, the, um, the atomic weight. Mercury, 200 grams of mercury, that's a mole. Some of them have parentheses, like uh, borium here. Borium is parentheses 270. If it has parentheses like that, um, that means that we haven't been able to get enough of it to actually measure a mole, or there's some differences that we can't really figure out yet. Usually it's these elements that are hard to get, like radon and these newer ones, like oganesson. Um, so that parentheses is the theoretical number of what a mole of that substance should be. Um, and the reason why it's something like 50.942 is because there's different kinds of each element. Um, so like ver vanadium, not every atom of vanadium is the same. It could be a little, uh, not every molecule is the same. And there's things called ions where they have a little bit more electrons or a little bit less electrons. Um, more neutrons, things like that. So there could be one kind of vanadium that has, that's a little heavier, that's like 51 grams per mole, or there's one that's a little lighter, like 49. And so they mix those numbers together, they average them, and they figure that uh, atomic weight from there. Now, so a mole is a specific number of particles and it depends on um, how the atom or whatever you're counting how that atom uh, behaves it's one to know what a mole is but we're going to uh, have to figure you know we'll have to show you what a mole is um, it's one thing to have those numbers in your mind it's, number to, it's another to actually show you something like that in real life. And Laura is here. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. Um, so I'm going to show you a few actual real life moles. Again, not the animal. That would be amazing. I would love, I would be absolutely amazing if I had a real mole here. Um, by the way, a mole of moles, that sounds like a, a movie that would be great for Halloween because a mole of moles would still cover the earth several miles thick. It'd be like trouble with tribbles. Anyway, I digress. Um, so I'm going to switch cameras here to our close up view. Bada bing, bada boom. There we go. Okay. So I have a balance here. Um, it's an electronic balance and you can see it has a cord. Um, 
And this electronic balance is going to help me figure some things out. Um, I have two graduated cylinders. And of those two graduated cylinders, we have one that has water in it and one that doesn't. So what we're going to do is first we need to figure out what the um, weight of water that we need for a mole. Um, so we'll need to look at the periodic table again. So here's the periodic table one more time. Um, whoops, I just removed it. There it is. So here's the periodic table. We know that water is made of two hydrogens, one oxygen. So in order to know what a mole of water would weigh, we need to look at hydrogen and we need to look at oxygen. So hydrogen, the atomic weight is 1.008 grams per mole. So we know that a mole of hydrogen would weigh about one gram. Uh, and we have two in, in a molecule of water. So that means a molecule, a, a mole of water would have um, two grams of hydrogen in it. So let's look at oxygen. Oxygen is about 15.99 grams per mole. So we know that a, a mole of water would have 16 grams of oxygen in it. And if we add those together, nitrogen, we don't know. if we add those together, then we know that a mole of water would weigh 18 grams. So I'm going to use my balance to find a mole of water. So first things first, I'm going to turn on the balance. There we go. Let it wake up. There we go. And you can see it says zero. So I'm going to put my graduated cylinder on there. And it tells me that the, the mass of my graduated cylinder is about 121 grams. We don't want that. So I'm going to hit this button that says tear. Um, T-A-R-E, that just ignores the graduated cylinder. So I'm going to pour water in there until it gets to about 18 grams. Let's see. That's 14, 16, 18. There you go. So we have 18 grams. You can't really see it very well. It's kind of glaring off the screen, but that does say 18. Um, so this volume of water here was 18 grams. And then we can look at the volume of water and lo and behold, it's 18 milliliters. Surprise, surprise. So that is very interesting. There's a reason for that. And I will bring it back to my face and explain the reason. Okay, hello. <laughs> so the reason why 18 milliliters of water is a mole and 18 grams is a mole um, because the density of water is one gram per milliliter. And you could figure out um, the molarity. You could figure that out using the density of that substance. I have one final mole to show you, and it's this. I'm going to do another close up. Microphone, switch it. There we go. So, this, this is gallium, it's a metal. So, using our periodic table, one more time, periodic table of the elements, gallium. A mole of gallium, where's gallium? There's gallium. Gallium, a mole of gallium would be 69.723 grams. So I'm going to use my trusty balance to see if we actually have a mole of gallium here. So I'm going to hit tear, so it's zero, and I can put this on here. And it's telling me that it's 66 grams. So that's almost a mole. It's almost a mole of gallium. Um, we would have to add a little extra. I do have a little extra gallium somewhere. It's over here. 
a little extra gallium. Let's see if we can bring that up to a mole. Oh, that's way over. Fortunately, gallium, gallium is a really interesting element. It's actually very sort of brittle. He says is he can't break it. Well, <laughs> see if I can get a little more gallium here. Maybe not. Oh, it went up to 68. How did it do that? I didn't touch it. Sheer force of will. We have about a mole of gallium here. And that's great and all. Um, here's a, another piece of gallium in a spoon shape. <laughs> it's going back and forth between 66 and 68. I don't know if I trust this balance. Anyway. Um, we have about a mole of gallium, so you can get a sense of the difference between a mole of gallium and a mole of water. A mole of water is about that much, a mole of gallium is about that much. Okay, well, let's switch back to my face. Hello, that's my bag of gallium. That's all I have for you today with uh, Curiosity Corner Live. Um, thank you very much for joining me on today's episode. Um, Curiosity Corner Live will be occasional now. Uh, we don't know when, um, usually for special days like Mole Day, but I really hope that you enjoyed. And uh, with that, I bid you farewell and I hope you have a great day. Uh, thanks for joining me today on Curiosity Corner Live. Um, this is Andy signing off. Um, happy Mole Day and stay curious.